हेलो एवरी वन मई सेल्फ अमी मेहता एंड हियर वी डिस्कस कनेक्शन कनेक्शन लेस ट्रांसपोर्ट विच इज यू डी पी इन कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क सो लेट अस डिस्कस इट सो यूजर डेटाग्राम प्रोटोकॉल सो फुल फॉर्म इज यूजर डेटाग्राम प्रोटोकॉल इज अ ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर प्रोटोकॉल एंड बेसिकली इट इज कनेक्शन लेस प्रोटोकॉल सो इट इज नोन एज कनेक्शन लेस ट्रांसपोर्ट सो इट इज अ ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर प्रोटोकॉल प्लीज प्लस इट इज कनेक्शन लेस सो इट इज कॉल्ड कनेक्शन लेस ट्रांसपोर्ट यू डी पी सो यू डी पी इज यूजर डेटाग्राम प्रोटोकॉल एंड विच इज अ ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर प्रोटोकॉल यू डी पी इज अ पार्ट ऑफ इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल शूट रिफर्ड एज यू डी पी आई पी शूट एंड अनलाइक टी सी पी इट इज अनरिलायबल एंड कनेक्शन लेस प्रोटोकॉल सो इट इज बेसिकली कनेक्शन लेस एंड अनरिलायबल प्रोटोकॉल एंड सो देर इज अ नो नीड टू एस्टेब्लिश कनेक्शन प्रायर टू डेटा ट्रांसफर सो इफ द प्रोटोकॉल इज कनेक्शन ओरिएंटेड प्रोटोकॉल देन वी हैव टू फर्स्ट एस्टेब्लिश द कनेक्शन एंड देन वी कैन ट्रांसफर द डेटा तो ट्रांसमिशन कंट्रोल प्रोटोकॉल इज डोमिनेंट ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर प्रोटोकॉल used with most of internet service provides assured delivery reliability and much more but all this services cost us with additional overhead and latency and here udp comes into picture so no doubt transmission control protocol is provide so many facility like reliability uh, assured delivery of uh, packets then uh, many more but this additional services may cause the overhead means much uh, consumption of time so there are some cases then in which there is a uh, important of time but uh, there is no requirement of this type of services so in that case udp comes into picture for the real time services like computer gaming voice or video communication live conference we need udp so uh, we discussed that uh, that type of services in which the timing is important than any other services so in which udp is uh, important so for the real time services like computer gaming then video communication live conference we need udp and since high performance is needed udp permits packets to be dropped instead of processing delayed packets for example from 20 packets uh, 20 packets are transfer and from that 20 packets two packets are lost then there is uh, no requirement of error checking or any else so this drop packets are as it is we do not process that delayed packets so udp is more efficient in terms of both latency and bandwidth because it is a not worry about delayed packets it is not connection oriented it is just focus on timing so but obvious uh, which this is more efficient uh, in terms of latency and bandwidth now let us see the udp uh, datagram and how it looks like so udp header is a 8 byte fixed and simple header while for tcp it may vary from 20 byte to 60 byte so this udp header is 8 bytes fixed size first 8 byte contains all necessary header information and remaining part consists of data so first 8 byte is for header and the next part is for data udp port number fields are each 16 bits long so this is total 16 bits long source port destination port length checksum this all are length of 16 bits therefore range for port numbers defined for from 0 to uh, 65535 and port number 0 is reserved port number help to distinguish different user request or processes so in udp first 8 bytes for udp header then other are udp data then there is a 16 bits of source port 16 bits of destination port and 16 bits of length and 16 bits of checksum 
now a source port is two byte long field used to identify port number of source two byte one byte means eight bits so two byte means 16 bits so here we write 16 bits instead of two bytes so source port is a two byte long field used to identify port number of source destination port it is two byte long field used to identify the port of destination packet now so as per the name source is the port number of source and destination port is the consist of uh, destination port number means pa uh, packet from whom to send packet now length is the length of udp including header and the data and it is a 16 bit field so it is uh, disk uh, in length it is mentioned that what is the length of udp which include udp header plus udp data uh, and the last one is checksum so checksum is two bytes or 16 bits long field and uh, it is the 16 bit ones complement of the ones complement sum of the udp header pseudo header of information from the ip header and the data padded with zero octets at the end to make a multiple of two octets so basically uh, checksum is 16 bit ones complement sum of the udp header okay so this is all about connectionless transport which is user datagram protocol now what is the application of udp so it is used for simple request response communication when size of data is less and since there is a lesser concern about flow and error control so in which case we are uh, not concerned about or less concerned about flow and error control in which uh, udp is used so it is suitable protocol for multicasting as udp supports packet switching uh, udp is used for some routing update protocols like rip routing information protocol and normally it is used for real-time application which cannot tolerate uneven delays between sections of received message for example if we are uh, doing communication of via voice call so in that we do not need a uh, uneven delays so that real-time application like gaming so for that basically udp is used so and it is also used in some routing information protocol it is suitable protocol for multicasting and used for simple request response communication when size of data is less so this is all about udp thank you